travel warning for India as their number of coronavirus cases continue to rise and the country is also dealing with civil unrest in some areas. The CDC issued a level four travel health notice for travelers who have been physically present in India while well, it is suspended. This does not impact U.S. citizens or permanent residents or immigrants. However, one Jacksonville man is having a hard time finding a flight out of India as the number of cases continue to rise. <laughs> Over 21 million cases of coronavirus, death and devastation looms over India as it ranks number two for the most COVID cases in the world, a pain that is being felt here in Jacksonville. There's not a day that goes by that I don't speak on the phone or I don't get a message. Every day, Gauri Gupta gets a call from a family member or a friend about the devastation coronavirus is bringing to her beloved homeland. Always somebody's father, somebody's mother, somebody's sibling who is testing out to be COVID positive, somebody struggling to find a bed in the hospital, somebody's trying to get the, the right injections. Gupta says loved ones back in India are in desperate need of medical help or the vaccine. Entire families are being hospitalized. Gupta says resources that were once available seem to be dwindling. The city is as big as Jacksonville. Mahesh S was so concerned about coronavirus in India, he brought his mother to the United States. In April, he thought things were better there, so he took his mother back to Bangalore, India, their hometown. He was wrong. By video conference, he tells us he rarely sees people. Nobody walks around, nobody does anything. In addition to the virus, he is stuck in India because a flight back to the United States is so rare. He may finally get back to Florida in another two weeks. Mahesh is grateful he and his mother are well and alive. For Gupta, this is another devastating week, losing an uncle and a nephew in India just days apart. I never think that it would get to this point for any country. No. Loved ones are cremated before their families can get to them or bury them with a proper religious ceremony. They hold on to hope that another loved one is not lost to the coronavirus that has already taken hundreds of thousands of lives. And locally, the United States has reported over 32 million cases of coronavirus, the most in the world. We will keep in touch with Mahesh and let you know if and when he makes it back into Jacksonville.